Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel Teaching in Tiaras. This is Jordan and I'm so excited about today's video because if you are a teacher like me, then you are currently obsessed with Target's dollar spots. Yes, right now, beginning of the summer, well, middle of the summer really, it's like an epidemic. And Instagram, I swear to goodness, it makes it even worse. I follow so many cool teachers on Instagram and I am so obsessed with all of your all's do Target dollar spot posts. I've seen a lot of teachers go to Target Dollar Spot, pick up some really cool knickknacks and decoration things for a dollar, bring them home and completely like revitalize them and make them something super cool. So forgive me if I steal those ideas, but today's video is just going to be me showing you what I have purchased from Target Dollar Spot over the last couple weeks. And some of these items I'm going to tell you how I plan to use them in my classroom. So hopefully you get some ideas out of this. Let's get started. So just before we get started, I'm going to give you guys a tiny bit of information about me as a teacher. If you're interested in learning more about me as a teacher, I have a whole other YouTube video dedicated to that. But some of the purchases that I've made at the Target Dollar Spot might not make sense unless I give you a tiny bit of background about me. This upcoming year is going to be my fourth year teaching. That's eight. Fourth year teaching. And I currently teach a departmentalized uh, third grade. So I teach two classes of third graders and I am the reading, writing, and social studies teacher. I absolutely love these subjects and I'm always looking for new ideas and kind of like the best practices in order to improve how I teach my students and how I engage them. And also before we begin, I have to apologize for my camera. What you're going to notice is that when I hold items in front of the camera, it's going to basically make the background back here woo, uh, really, really dark. I don't use any artificial lighting for any of my videos. I'm basically sitting in front of a huge bay window and so that's why that happens. The sunlight just gets attracted to whatever is in front of the camera and makes me and the rest of the screen basically like really really dark. So the first thing that I picked up at the Target dollar spot is what any teacher needs and I was really excited to score lots of these. I bought lots of these because I plan to use them in the future as well. Unfortunately they are so expensive online or at your local teacher store, whatever that teacher store may be, and they are name tags. Aren't these so cute? I I plan to incorporate these a lot and um, you know they're ba they're basic and so I do plan to have to maybe replace them at least once this year but they're gonna go perfectly with my theme my theme is never actually a theme it's like a set of colors and so I'm really excited because these have all of the colors in them not only did I pick those up with the polka dots I also found these with the pencils and like cute graph paper and I also found these. These ones are really cute and they have, um, I know that this one in particular has matching file folders which I also picked up and I will show in just a little bit. The second thing that I picked up, and who doesn't love these, I would love to put these on my door, are these little goo stickers. This one just says uh, welcome back to school. Actually I think I have it upside down. Yeah, I do have it upside down. This one just says welcome back to school and this one says uh, dream big. I keep holding them upside down. But yes, uh, I love these little goo stickers and I plan to just use them on my door. Um, I also know that the uh, our office uses these as well so I may just kind of gift them to our main office to see if they can use them as well. Another item that I picked up from the Target dollar spot and I picked up a bunch of these obviously is uh, bookmarks. These bookmarks were um, just I plan to use them and just give them to the kids. They're not necessarily meant to be a reward or anything but do I mean we do read a lot of books <laughs> obviously in our reading class so I want all the kids to have a bookmark. This one says learn something new every day and again it fits with like the little rainbow pattern I have three packs of those and the other one that I found I couldn't find any more of this one but this one just says I love to read good books and on the back it's really cool it's got a space for the kids name here at the bottom if you can see and it also has space for ten of their favorite books not that they would be able to write in their ten favorite books in here because the lines are super small but the idea is really cute anyway something else I picked up from the target dollar spot are little rewards um, I love love owls and my students quickly find out that I love owls and so they're always drawing the owl pictures and stuff like that so why not have some owl rewards this just says hoot hoot hooray for name date and the reason why not right why not reward the kids for being for helping pick up the classroom or do something else or being a good friend or something 
why not? Just laminate these babies up and hand them out, and um, whenever a kid deserves one, why not a little bit of positive recognition? Who doesn't love that, right? So another thing that I picked up at the Target dollar spot, and I picked up a bunch of these because actually a lot of them come in one pack. They are, uh, they are labels, like name tags. They come 48 to a pack, so there's two on you know each little card so for a total of 48 and they are adhesive so they're sticky now what I had planned to use these for was obviously some type of labeling organization I was hoping to label maybe my book bins with these but something else that I have seen um, on Instagram as well is that the Target dollar spot sells those um, little plastic slips that you can slip in little pieces of paper into and I've seen teachers use those for their labeling their book bins that way the adhesive for the sticker doesn't actually like damage the book bin or anything like that so I'm thinking that maybe if you just cut the sticker out without actually peeling it off you might be able to slip it in there I haven't purchased those little sleeves yet so I do have to be on the lookout for those to see if they will work but they had a lot of cute designs again with kind of like the rainbow theme the multicolored theme I got two packs of those they also have um, these stickers these wouldn't be for book bins or anything because they say name uh, they kind of go along with those other um, those other name tags but maybe for field trips or something like that I thought that might be really neat and third grade for us is the year when a lot of new students come to the classroom uh, because we run a talented and gifted program one of the classes always gets like maybe six seven or eight new students and so that might be really useful to have these as well on that first day just so everybody is familiar with everybody else's name um, so yeah I a lot of these multicolored ones and the last set that I got was um, these ones I think I got like two packs of these they just said hello my name is um, so for any visitors that we might have uh, I know that we have to have our visitors check in at the office and they get their name and whatever but this is just a little bit more friendly um, again maybe for a field trip or any uh, special visitors I am big into pageantry and so I invite a lot of my pageant friends into the classroom so this might be super cute for them to wear as well and yeah just a lot of labels I'm looking forward to be beginning to get really really organized this year so hopefully those labels will help out with that so another thing that I have from the Target dollar spot I bought two packs of these as well these were one of I think these nope these were a dollar some of those dollar spot things are like three and five dollars but again these were dollar um, there's 30 of them in each pack and they are dry erase um, sentence strips my class at the end of the year and throughout the year focuses uh, still on handwriting and manuscript writing like cursive writing and so I made some of these myself uh, last year but I think these will be much better because they are the the lines are just thicker and unfortunately I do have some students coming into third grade that are having some issues with their letter formation and so I plan to use these um, either during small groups or for like cursive writing and stuff like that I had a bit of a surprise on this next item um, well actually there's two items I picked up this poster for a dollar it's just a learning poster and I'm not gonna take it out but it's relatively big and um, on this poster it says make today the day to learn something new and again it is rainbow so it's going to fit no matter what color scheme that I go with um, I thought this was really pretty something else that um, along the decoration line that I saw were um, it's like a bulletin board decor thing now this is where the surprise come in comes in I liked this just the way that it was obviously it says welcome but what I didn't know that I was getting were other things I felt like kind of an idiot when I opened this up finally to take out the welcome and <laughs> there's a bunch of other stuff behind the welcome Ow, I just hit myself in the face there's a bunch of stuff behind the welcome like little bulletin board decor things oh so cool this one I'm holding stuff upside down again. This one matches the bookmarks that I showed just a couple seconds ago. And this one matches the, um, what was it, the little goo stickers from just a couple minutes ago as well. So I really just, I had no idea that I was going to be getting all of these things. 
in that one little uh, package. I also picked up a brand new classroom calendar. The one that's currently in my classroom, well, it's actually in storage right now, but the one that's currently in my classroom I've had for all three years that I've been teaching. I laminated it, I put uh, Velcro on it so that I could just stick the days on without having to like tack them on or anything like that. And it has served me very well, but it is starting to kind of fall apart <laughs> because I've tacked the calendar itself up to the bulletin board so much. So Target for, um, what is this one? This was one of the $3 ones. For $3, they had, well, how do I show this to you? Hang on. Um, for $3, they had, again, with the, the kind of rainbow theme, they had a really cute chevron calendar that I do plan to use. I actually do two calendars in my classroom. One of them situated, one of them is situated on the back wall, and that will be this one. And one of them, I kind of experimented with this at the end of the year. I started seeing on Pinterest and Instagram washi tape calendars on whiteboards, like dry erase boards. And I have a dry erase board in my room, so I started um, experimenting with a two-week washi taped uh, calendar so that the students could see what events were coming up and if they had a test on one day uh, or if they had no school one day because this type of calendar uh, unless you write on it which I guess you could but still it would be a little bit small um, this calendar doesn't really let the students see what's going on and so I, I do do two calendars in my room this one will just be the one that is kind of standard in the back it's the one that I refer to if I'm ever on the spot oh what day is it or anything like that but it also comes with all of these kind of extras um, obviously the months and they are themed for whatever month um, you know you're currently on weird I never ever get to use July poor July but yeah so they come with those and they also come with the numbers clearly I would definitely laminate these and put velcro on the back of them so that I didn't have to like putty tack them up or anything like that and it also makes it really easy for a student to just say hey can I change the calendar yes of course you can but something else that I thought was super neat is that it also comes with a bunch of specialty stickers you've got Labor Day and Halloween Valentine's Day definitely a lot of birthdays what does it say um, test day report cards last day of school um, parents day parent conferences which you never see calendars have that sort of thing so these are just punch Shouts and I would again definitely laminate these. I'm really excited about this calendar. My poor calendar in the classroom does have to retire. As a social studies teacher and a big proponent of geography skills, I get really excited about anything that has to do with maps. And I haven't seen this item since the first time that I've gone, but it is a <laughs> United States felt map. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this just yet, but this would be really, really neat um, just to even just have up in the classroom. I am a huge proponent of students knowing where they live and like where the national capital is and stuff like that. I can't believe that some kids come to me not knowing that the capital of the United States is Washington, D.C. And so I do spend a lot of time on United States geography and like obviously knowing where the continents are, but this this map is like huge. It's huge and it's perfectly labeled and it's really colorful which is perfect for the kids. Um, so yeah, it, what it comes with also, the felt map, is a, a bunch of little uh, felt pieces and what these felt pieces are designed to do is basically just acquaint students with like big landmarks in the United States. We've got Las Vegas, um, Hollywood, Crater Lake. There's a bunch of different ones. Obviously, there's a, um, I almost said a sticker. There's a felt piece that says, I live here, which is kind of neat. We've got other things like Volcano National Park. Um, what are some other big ones? The French Quarter. <laughs> Um, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I couldn't believe was in Ohio, uh, Statue of Liberty, Niagara Falls. So there's a bunch of different little pieces. I did try, kind of like test out to see how well the pieces would actually stick to the map if the map were like hanging on a wall or something like that. And 
I would say maybe 85% of them stuck really well over the couple minutes that I had it kind of hanging up like that. Um, a couple of them did fall off, so I'm not quite sure how, how I would like reinforce the stickiness or the feltiness of them, but either way, I thought it was really cool. You can just as easily use it on the floor. So yay for maps. As a social studies teacher, I am a huge fan of this Target purchase. I forgot to mention this when I was mentioning like little decals and stuff. Uh, Target also has uh, bulletin board accents. I picked up a bunch of them, uh, obviously owls because I really, really like owls. These were just a dollar and there are 24 in a pack, so they could just be laminated and whatever. Um, these ones, the worm and the apple, again, a dollar. As a social studies teacher, hello. Anything map or globe, I absolutely love. And these ones go with basically kind of the pattern that I'm, the rainbow kind of pattern that I'm seeing a lot at Target and it's looking like this is kind of going to be where I'm going with my classroom theme. So I'm really excited to have these. These ones, yeah, again, there's 24 and this would be kind of neat to do as like a, a bulletin board trim or something like that or, you know, to put students' names on or whatever. But yeah, bulletin board accents as well. Something else I plan to do, this is for me personally, I have a really boring desk. Um, it's like this kind of ugly tan color and it's old of course our school is pretty old so I did pick up some what is this uh, adhesive drawer liner paper again in the rainbow color and I plan to use this uh, kind of like contact paper to put around the outside of my desk maybe I'll use some of those bulletin board decal things to put up on there as well but yeah I wanted to do something to kind of make my desk match the rest of the classroom everything in my classroom is really colorful um, specifically the colors blue, green, and yellow, bright. I love those colors. And my desk is like the most boring thing in the room. And so I'm planning to use this in that way. So hopefully it'll kind of brighten up that corner of my space. I feel like I've been saving the best things for last. I have two more things to show you that I'm very excited about. So um, I have two of these and I've kind of already packed it up, but you guys know what this is if you're a teacher. <laughs> um, this is the welcome, whoa, this is the welcome banner. And I think I saw on Instagram, one teacher said that she had to check and double check her welcome banner because it was kind of strung on there incorrectly. So it was spelled incorrectly, but ooh, let me see if I can get you to see that. But yeah, the welcome banners are really cute. I have two of these and I think these were three yeah these were three dollar purchases but I think they are well worth it they're made out of felt and I think that I'm gonna use one on my outside bulletin board and maybe one on my desk or I like to hang stuff on the blinds even though I'm really not supposed to but I might hang one up on the blinds as well so along with the welcome one they have a couple others that I have picked up I have one of this one this one has just a bunch of different little apples on it I'm having trouble getting it off um, but yeah, this one just has a bunch of different apples on it. I also know the there's one that I don't have that has a bunch of shapes on it, like colorful shapes. I have not seen that one yet, but I think that's really cute. I know that there are a bunch of teachers who have used this and put like adhesive stickers or like hot glued stuff on there so that they can write reading or math or their name or something, which is what leads me to my next one. Um, this is the pencil banner. Whoa. I've seen this one a lot, um, say math or relay, like reading English language arts or whatever. Um, so this one's really cool. It's made out of wood, so it's really sturdy. Um, again, I think this is a $3 purchase, but I'm really looking forward to using this somewhere, perhaps on a bulletin board as well. And the last one that I have, I have two of the two of these I have two of these and these again go along with the kind of rainbow theme that I'm seeing Target put out and probably the rainbow theme that is going to be in my classroom this is the um, Woo, the Chevron kind of like chalkboard type um, this package did come with a focus focus focus. This package did come with a piece of chalk, but I don't plan to use chalk on there because we all know that chalk is really, really messy. So I plan to use some sort of jumbo size sticker or maybe um, like a, a marker of some, like a Sharpie of some sort to write my name. My last name has seven letters in it and there are seven colors. <laughs> in my humble opinion, I have saved the best item for last. 
and there's a lot of them and the reason there's a lot of them I have a good reason and I did not make this up on my own I got this idea from another teacher which I, I'll explain in just a second but the item that I, <sighs> the last item that I purchased were a bunch of file folders you can see I bought a bunch I think this was I think this is the first time that I went to Target. I think they come three different colors to a pack for a dollar. And so I ended up getting like maybe 30 of them or probably over 30 of them. I don't know why I bought so many, but I have a specific use for them. And let me give credit where credit is due. I watched a webinar a couple weeks back, um, maybe a month or two back or something, uh, from the teacher that I follow on Insta Instagram. Her Instagram name is Create Abilities. I am sorry, I forget her actual name, but she led a webinar about classroom organization. And this folder, like all of these folders, let me just show you a couple of them. They've got solid colors, and again, the rainbow colors, kind of like the contact paper for um, the desk. They've got, again, kind of like that name tag pattern. Um, that I showed a little bit, solid colors. I know that they also have, where is it? They've also got a graph paper one. Yeah, here it is. I liked this one kind of the least out of all of them, and so I might not end up using that style, but anyway, still really cool. So anyway, back to what I'm going to use these for. These folders are going to be used as a way to turn in homework. I have a departmentalized third grade, so I'm looking at anywhere between 20 and maybe 26 students in each class. I have a bare um, cinder block wall that I'm going to dedicate to this little project. So again, I got this from the teacher whose username is Create Abilities. I can't remember her name right this second, but this is how she suggested students turn in homework. And I'm going to make this work because I think it will save a lot of space. I think it will save me as the checker of homework a lot of time as well. And it's just going to make me a little bit more efficient in those crazy mornings. So here's how it works. You get folders, doesn't matter what kind. Um, I would suggest these just because they're, they're really easy. And these ones, uh, the ones at Target are really good quality. So you get it, tape it together. You don't need to use the inside of the folder. On the back of the folder, you would somehow adhere these to a bulletin board or a wall. In my case, it's going to be a cinder block wall and I'm most likely going to use Velcro pieces. Um, I find that tape doesn't work, maybe hot glue, but the only problem with hot glue is that then I can't use them again because it's going to rip. But then again, for a dollar, maybe I will. But anyway, adhere the folder, the back of the folder, somehow to the wall so that when the students walk in and when you are, why is this happening? Um, when you are looking at the folder, you see the front. Okay, so the student's name, or in this case, I would use numbers because my class is departmentalized, so I would go like maybe numbers one through 26 or however many kids I had in the largest class. And then on the top of each folder, you put two paper clips. I would recommend using paper clips because if you use, um, clothespins, then that runs the risk of it not working and you'll see why. If you use those little binder clips, also the same reason. The objective here is to make homework turning in, the homework turning in process really easy. So what happens is that when the student comes in, they come in with their homework and they turn it into this folder by slipping their homework. This isn't going to work as well. Yeah. Okay. They slip their homework underneath the clip just like this. So obviously it would be a bigger piece of paper and they would slip it under both clips. Now, if you have, let's say, a social studies and a reading homework, then they would take both pages and they would slip them both <laughs> underneath the paper clip just like this. Now, let me tell you the benefits of this. Um, I think the Create Abilities teacher went over some of these, but I was just thinking in terms of myself, this makes it easier for me to see immediately 
who has turned in any of their homework. Sometimes I have students that have trouble with the morning routine and they will just forget to turn in homework. And they'll ask me, hey, Ms. Goddard, did I already turn in my homework? And I'll be like, I don't know. Let me check through the bin and see if you turned in your homework or I'll hand them the stack of papers and say, here, check through these papers. No, that eliminates all of that chaos. This dedicated to one wall, the student will be able to look back at their numbered folder and see, okay, did I turn in my homework? Now, if you have students that are turning in more than one piece of homework, let's say two worksheets or something like that, all you have to do and this, this eliminates so much. If you have bins um, that you use to turn in homework, you know that you have to rifle through those bins. You have to check off whether or not the students did their homework or not, if that's something that you, you, know, you do. But this folder system basically eliminates the need to rifle through all of the papers because all you have to do is when you go up to each student's little folder, you flip the paper. Oh, is there a second piece of paper there? Yeah really, then they did both of their homeworks. So really, I mean, there are countless amounts of like benefits to this system. My only concern is that I really hope it sticks to the wall. Again, if you have like a bulletin board that is not used for some reason, I know that I do not have that because my bulletin boards are completely full, but I do have that cinder block wall. But yeah, if you have that bulletin board, then just staple it up there. But if you are like me and you need to kind of fudge it so that you can find that space, then yeah, I am a little concerned that they're going to, um, the adhesive is going to wear off, but in my experience, the Velcro that I used has been really, really strong. So this, again, is not something that I came up with, but it is something that I plan to try out. The easiest thing is, is that it's going to be in alphabetical order already, and so you could just go choo, 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 go on down the line and take off their homework and it already be in alph alphabetical order for you to grade or pass back or if you have paper passers or you know whatever. And since I have two classes, my afternoon class will come in and do the exact same thing. That way there will be no confusion over like who hasn't turned in their homework, it will be very visual, very bright, and very, very efficient. So right before we end, that was my last item, but right before I kind of wrap up this video, I also wanted to make um, a quick comment about donors choose. I am trying to get my, um, I don't know how many donors choose projects I have started, but failed to get funded. If you guys have any tips or tricks about getting donors choose projects funded, this one I'm really gunning for. There is kind of like a computer uh, laptop Chromebook shortage in our school and so I'm really trying to get funding for six Chromebooks. If you have any tips or tricks or you know companies that will help you fund your projects, please leave those comments below. I'm really excited about this project and really gunning for this one to work. I really think it'll help out my students in the long run. So again, if you have those tips or tricks, please leave those comments below. I really, really appreciate it. And that, my friends, is the end of my Target Dollar Spot haul. I hope you enjoyed this. I always used to feel very very weird about watching haul videos because it's just people buying stuff and showing you what they bought but I actually found them really useful I find myself kind of putting them on in the background if I'm ever doing like work in my classroom and if I hear something that catches my attention I just kind of guide my attention toward the video and I get these really awesome ideas so I hope you guys got some ideas or at least if you didn't get any ideas for what to do in your classroom now you kind of know what target has out there I'm really excited for my fourth year of teaching and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below I will also link the teacher that gave me this idea for the folders um, I'll link her information below as well please check her out she has some really really amazing ideas so they I mean you guys know what they say just if you're a teacher you gotta steal from the best in order to be the best so I'm really excited about my fourth year thank you guys for joining in and I look forward to our next hangout video together see you guys later bye Thank you.